Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. Today's date is Thursday, October 30th, 2014. It's Fukushima Day 1,329 into this event. And I've got a series of hot stories here, fresh off the press, and a touch of gold and silver at the end. My prediction that we're going lower has come through overnight. Yes, folks, we're going much lower. Okay, so Stars and Stripes is announcing here, uh, sh reporting, I should say, that the, a judge here, a U.S. federal judge, has ruled that a class action lawsuit filed by about 200 Navy sailors and Marines can proceed against the Japanese utility and other defendants who blame the variety of ailments from radiation exposure after they've been told to come ahead and move in towards closer the shores of Japan after the meltdown. So TEPCO gave them some bad information. We have a bunch of sick sailors. And yeah, uh, Judge uh, Janice Sammartino ruled that the suit can be amended to add builders of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant reactors, General Electric, Ibasco, Toshiba and Itachi as defendants. And she also denied a change of venue to Japan. This is one of the things they were hoping is to bring this whole lawsuit over to Japan. No fat chance. It's staying in the USA. You can see the lawyer's um, notes here. He says, you know, it's not over, but we've won a major battle. I believe so. There's no chance they would ever get a fair trial over in Japan. More likely they'll get something fair in the USA. Another story here, this is good because we have a story here from Taiwan where they're now saying that beginning next year, they're going to start testing the sweets, the cookies, the teas, and tea products that are imported from Japan but like I said it's only next year but at least they're doing something about it here folks okay this is one of the things I've been talking about how we have no proper testing taking place I have a relative works extremely high up in the Canadian Food Inspection Agency I can't tell them tell you what position they hold because they probably lose that position tomorrow but trust me there is no checking of radiation in our food in Canada they have done it intermittent here and there but it's not an ongoing process but yes as you can see here Taiwan's not putting up with this crap they've connected the, the dots they realize we have an ongoing triple meltdown and the radiation is only going to be getting higher you have to start testing and another sad story here this is again October 30th it turns out that a series of delays here will push back by years the start of operations to remove the spent and the melted nuclear fuel from reactor no number one building here at Fukushima Daiichi. So they're saying here that uh, originally, under the original plan, TEPCO was to start removing the uh, spent fuel from the number one reactor building in fiscal year 2017 and begin lifting out the melted fuel as early as 2020. Well, now under the new schedule, the spent fuel removal will start in the year 2019, while the melted fuel operations will begin in fiscal 2025. So um, I guess the original plan that this would be contained in 35 to 45 years is now, what, 37 to 47 years? If you believe those numbers, I think we're in a lot more than what they're letting on here, folks. Okay, so another oddity, oddity. honestly, this is very strange. When you read this story, and I'll leave the links to everything you see on my, on my videos are always linked down below in the Shorma box so you can read the entire story to yourself. But basically here it talks about how... Um, uh, Keshi Wasaki, the world's largest nuclear plant, is in Niigata Prefecture on the coast facing the Japan Sea. And it was damaged by a fire in a 2007 earthquake. And about five years later, then we hit another earthquake that hit uh, the Fukushima, a large tsunami here causing the meltdown, right? Well, yeah, they're on opposite coastlines. So one's on one coastline facing out towards the Pacific Ocean and the other one's on the inside here uh, facing the Japan Sea. And it turns out that they have, they've invited a U.S. Uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission here by the name of Klein here who's been with them here since 2011 after this disaster okay well now what they're wanting to do you're not going to believe this honestly um, this is what they're saying here double safe okay so Klein says here they recognize that they need to be doubly safe and doubly verified okay in his uh, uh, October 28 interview here uh, in his TEPCO Tokyo office and he says that they're considering bringing over yeah, U.S. nuclear commissioners to, to double check it? Honestly, this is where I'm like, whoa, hold on a second. Are they serious about this? They're looking for foreign help. So foreign companies, inclu including those from the U.S., France, and Russia, have been invited by TECPO to help in some aspects of the Fukushima cleanup work. Well, for one thing, why are they waiting so long to do this? This should have been done from day one. We've, we should have had, we have a triple ongoing meltdown at Fukushima. Why don't we have all of these countries in there right now? It's disgusting. 
Now they want to tell us they're going to invite them in now to make them to make it what double safe, triple safe, quadruple. How many countries are we going to call in there? The fact is here we have an ongoing problem, and I'm not sure if you watch my videos from just what was it two days ago. Here I reported how um, you know they had a major leak here in the United States, and this is a plant that was under control of the NRC during two of these uh, negotiations, these lockouts, where they kicked out all the union workers, and both times when the RSC is in there telling them, telling in reports and news how they're checking it not just once a month, but every week, they still had a, a, a massive meltdown, or not a meltdown, I should say, a uranium uh, uh, hexafluoride release. And in this video here, two days ago, I show again that three days, days ago, the same damn plant repeated the same process again, where the NRC is in there, uh, they got subcontractors, they're telling the news that the these guys are properly trained and what do we have another release so this is very sad here because I'm not sure if you recall but um, just to here in October 30th 2014 we had the government itself here in Japan that was you know uh, considering weighing measures to aid these power companies that are decommissioning these aging nuclear plants here because it goes on to say that uh, utilities are not allowed in principle to run, to, to, to run these nuclear uh, power reactors for longer than 40 years. Okay, then they say that the operators can seek an extension for up to 20 years. Now, what's important about this is that, you know, here they are going in, calling in the, the NRC, and they actually have one already on, you know, Klein's already there, you know. He's already there from 2011. So he's not going to talk about any of these issues, and you got to wait for them to quit. And this is why I reported this story here in April 8, 2013, it's only once they quit, okay, the former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear, uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission said on Monday that all 104 U.S. nuclear reactors now in operation in the United States have safety problems that cannot be fixed and they should be replaced with newer technology. So how come we don't have that kind of talk taking place here with Klein? It's very obvious here, folks. They're, they're, they're going to come in here and tell you it's a double, triple, it doesn't matter. They have an ongoing problem of lying to us, and it's not until they, they, they've, I don't know, they grow a heart and they decide to quit and um, spill the beans in. I mean, you know, this is not a small story. This is New York Times. Again, I'll leave the story down below here if you want to follow this stuff, because I also reported back in... Uh, April 19th, 2012, I talked about how the same type of uh, Mark I nuclear reactor that's melting down, the, the triple meltdown, all three nuclear reactors at Fukushima were built by General Electric and the other companies I'd mentioned there, um, that there are Mark I where they hold these spent fuel rods up in the same building as the reactor itself. Well, the, U the USA has 24 of these reactors, the same ones that carry these spent fuel pools. There's 23 in operation. One, in the, one of them is closed down, but it still holds the spent fuel pools up in the building here. So a little bit of good news here. That's about the only good news I could find uh, as far as radiation and whatnot. So it talks about this Fukushima Experimental Offshore Floating Wind Farm Project, the second phase update. I talked about another wind farm in the past, a solar, uh, sorry, not a wind farm, a solar uh, offshore plant. I'm not sure if you saw this, this that video, but this one here, and I'll, again, I'll leave all the link down below. It talks about how there, it's a consortium here of different companies all together working uh, that have been participating in an experimental offshore floating wind farm that's a project that's sponsored by the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry since March 2012. So it says pre preparatory works for the installation of the 7 megawatt oil pressure drive type wind turbine on the three column semi sub floater at the Onohama port in Fukushima are almost completed and delivery of the floater from the Nagasaki to Onamaha has started today as part of the second term. So this is a big unit folks massive. These are not small tugboats, they're big tugboats and that is a massive structure. So I imagine uh, all three of these columns here will have these uh, uh, wind turbines on them and I went digging up for a little bit more story on this and uh, for a little bit more information on this whole thing it turns out that the although they're going to proceed with the plan here it also says on this other story that the uh, uh, the sea angel turbines on floating uh, apparatus has been set back. It's been pushed back here, the plans, okay, from uh, December to early February. It could be because of the weather, I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't go into a whole lot of information on that story, but at least they're proceeding with uh, other alternatives uh, besides starting up reactor 
nuclear reactors, which is something I reported. And it's funny, no one has talked about this on YouTube. I don't know why, but yes, Japan, two of their nuclear reactors are about to be started up. The vote has gone through. The people in, that are in charge uh, in that town, the, all 26 of them, or sorry, sorry, not 26, but a majority of them have voted in favor. So yeah, Japan's about to restart the first of its 48 nuclear reactors. And folks, I'm going to end this video here because, actually no, I'm not going to end it. One more thing here. Silver Gold. Okay, as you know, I, I opened up that other YouTube channel, Silver Gold Man, because uh, researching conspiracies, the market has been a ha hobby of mine. Many people like hockey, you, you like UFC fighting, I don't know, some of you like music videos. We all have our different things, right? Well, I enjoy researching conspiracies, and because I realize that the major conspiracies that none of these guys are talking about, all these famous YouTubers, Team Wake Up, you name it, Red Pill, it doesn't matter, Alex Jones, it doesn't matter. 99.9% .9 of the truthers out here will not talk about direct democracy and they will not talk about the conspiracy in the silver market and the gold market. I'm one of the very few that will talk about these terms and I will continue talking because if we're going to bring real freedom here in North America, it's going to be through direct democracy, but that's for another video. What I want to touch on right now is something I was telling you about this November 30th the election over in Switzerland, the only country in the world that has direct democracy. That type of democracy is not by representative. It's the people themselves that have to vote on every single law, every single bill. Okay? They have a big election coming up November 30th. Their money used to be backed by 40% gold. They fell off a gold standard in the uh, early 1990s. And now they're about to get back on a gold standard of 20% gold back currency. The vote's coming down on November 30th. The people that control this planet, the Illuminati, you'll hear all kinds of different names, the powers that be, are going to purposely bring down the price of silver and gold I believe gold will definitely go below a thousand dollars because that that's the uh, that mark in your brain. Many people are like, "What a thousand dollars? Wow, it's worth something." So they'll probably bring it down to nine fifty, nine twenty five, nine seventy five. I believe that'll be your opportunity to probably jump in there. But hang tight, I'll make more videos on that. And uh, same with silver, we're probably going to see, guys. I'm telling you, fifteen dollars an ounce possibly even lower. It's something I watch on a daily basis. So if you're interested in that, great. Hang tight. And also I'll remind you that I have this connectingdots1.com forum where I'm going to start a special section where I'm going to upload just my videos. Here I have gold and silver in the economy, radiation. It's going to be a section dedicated just to my videos. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this. It's because it's become very apparent that many of you do not get your uploads and when you do get the uploads, you get them several days behind. I'm tired of that BS. How am I supposed to stay on top of a news and everything else when Google, YouTube owns Google, you know that. Uh, I can't leave in comments anymore. They've took away my rights to comment. Uh, I, you know, they want me to join Google Plus. I didn't join Google Plus, I joined YouTube. And now it's become very apparent over the course of so summer with this Fukushima scam that I've come in contact with people in Powell River, people nearby, we've sent emails, and they're telling me that they're not getting their upload notifications. So there's ongoing censorship at Connecting Dots 2, Connecting Dots 3. I have not seen it over at the Silver Gold Man yet, but I'm fed up with this, so I'm going to open up a special section, and you can come to my Connecting Dots 1 forum every day, and I guarantee you that the video that I uploaded that day or the day before or whatever will be kept up to date here because I'm fed up with this censorship. And if it means that i got to start drawing my, my, my uh, interested parties over to Connecting Dots 1, so be it, Google, you're going to lose out on this because the censorship, I will not be accepting that anymore. I'm sick and tired of this. How am I supposed to play a fair game and inform people when I have a corporation that does it on purpose to hide me? And I'm not going to get into all the information that I've dug up on this, but yeah, right into doing searches on other people's computer on Fukushima only to find out that my videos don't show up? Yeah, enough with the bullshit. So it's going to be at ConnectingDots1.com. And uh, yeah, multiple topics here. I realize many of you are not interested in this stuff. That's okay, but at least you can keep track of my Fukushima and my gold and silver videos uh, when you want to. They'll be all listed there up to date. Hope you enjoy the information. Have a great day. Take care, folks.